Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Assalamualaikum. So, kamtane, kesahe, sanggaye, magandang araw sa lahat, buenos tardes, and of course to all who are watching, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and handy tool for you. Today we're gonna talk about the top 5 important things you must do before you start a drawing. This is in response to a request from an avid subscriber, Mr. Benji Branya from Manila. Here's the topic you requested and I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me also have a quick shout out to CAD Hand Studio where you can learn more AutoCAD commands from basic to advanced 2D and 3D drawings and JL Gumapi where you will also learn more about Revit drawings. Here's the 5 important things you must do before you start an AutoCAD drawing but before I begin, please do me a great favor by hitting the like and subscribe button and the bell icon as well to keep you updated on my latest AutoCAD lessons. And now let's begin the countdown. On number 5, you need to speed up. What I mean is you simply need a good or a faster computer to start an AutoCAD drawing whether it is a desktop or a laptop. And when we say good, it doesn't always mean the high-end or the expensive ones. Just meet the basic requirements or higher by either upgrading your computer or buying a new one. If you decide to buy a new one, here are the list of the basic requirements from what I saw on Autodesk Knowledge Network. Here it is. On number 4 is that you have to get an AutoCAD software. Before you buy an AutoCAD software, it is very important to do a little research and the most important thing you need to know is your computer's OS. OS stands for Operating System. It is the system software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for computer programs. If you don't get what it means, it's okay. Neither do I. But don't worry, you don't have to understand it in detail to use the AutoCAD. Simply put, it refers to whether your PC is 32-bit or 64-bit. But if you still need some more insights, I copy-pasted the Wikipedia link down below. Here's how you can figure out your Windows OS. On your taskbar, go to search and type DX Diag. DX Diag, enter. And a dialog box will appear. This is the operating system. Mine is 64-bit. All new Windows 10 are now using the 64-bit OS. I heard that 32-bit is already obsolete, but for those using the older laptops and you want to double-check your OS, simply follow these simple steps. Another important note, AutoCAD 2020 will only run on 64-bit software, so it means that if your PC is 32-bit, it's either do not buy an AutoCAD 2020 because there is a less chance it'll work, or better yet, upgrade your PC to 64-bit. For Mac users and you want an AutoCAD 2020, you need a Mac OS Catalina V10.15, the updated version, Mac OS Mojave V10.14, and Mac OS High Sierra V10.13. When the AutoCAD is already installed and running, you can now start your drawing. And that will lead us down to the third important thing you have to do, and that is to set up the units. AutoCAD has adapted the two system of units of measurement used around the world, and these are the imperial, or the one that uses feet and inches, and the metric system, or the one that uses millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Almost all countries around the world uses the metric system. According to statistics, there are only three countries left that still uses the imperial system of measurement and that is the US, Liberia, and Myanmar. So if you live in these places, you probably need to use inches. To set up your units, type UN, enter. Then this dialog box will come out. The length deals with how you want your lines to be measured, whether it is imperial or metric. If you want to choose the imperial or the feet and inches, choose the architectural or engineering. But if you want to choose metric, choose the decimal. Same thing with the angle. Decimal degrees is metric. Precision, by default it is with four decimal places, so let's just keep it that way. And the insertion scale, this deals with how you want all your blocks and other items to be inserted. And since you choose decimal here, you can choose either millimeters or centimeters. Another important thing under units, type OP for options. Then under this dialog box, go to user preferences tab. Under the insertion scale, this is the units of the blocks that you're going to insert. And the target, this is the current units that you are working on. 
So the usual is millimeters. This one is important to be matched on the units that you are working on. The second is the customization. When we say customization, this refers to how you want your AutoCAD environment to be according to your preferences. This includes changing the color of your interface, workspaces, command input, and it is usually depending on your comfort. If you want to change the color of your display, type OP, enter, then under the display tab, choose color, and here is where you can change everything. Like for example, you want to change the, the background, you can change it into black, apply and close, and this will become black. If you want to change the command line, change the context, and change the background, maybe green, or whatever color you want. Another important thing that I want to customize is the size of the pick box. Because when you make a command, let's say erase E, as you can see the pick box is too small. So to change that, type OP, enter, go to selection, and change the size of the pick box. You can also change your toolbars by changing the workspaces. In this workspace flyout, click it, then you can choose whatever workspace you want. I personally like the AutoCAD Classic. But if you don't have the AutoCAD Classic, you can watch my other videos that deals on how to create your AutoCAD Classic on the link below. Before I go to number one and the most important thing, please do my favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for future contents. Now that you understand all these fundamentals in AutoCAD, you can start your drawings. And this goes down to the most important thing you must do before you create your drawing or start a new project. That is, the layering. Before you start any drawing, you have to create a set of layers that will be useful for your work. Layers are the primary method of organizing objects in the drawing and can reduce the visual complexity and improve the display performance of your drawing by hiding some objects. To illustrate, I have this plan and I want to simplify the visual complexity of this plan by hiding some objects. Let's say I want to hide this dimension. What I'm gonna do is to pick one dimension and the layers where it belongs will be displayed here. Click it. Then, it's either you can turn it off or freeze the object. Let's say turn it off. Then go back to your drawing. And all the dimensions or everything that is in that layer will be turned off. To create a layer, type LA, enter. Then, this dialog box will appear and by default, there is one layer called zero. And these are these properties. You can create a new layer by simply right clicking the selected layer. Make sure it is highlighted, then right click. Choose new layer, then name it whatever you want. Let's say wall, enter. You can change the color just to make it different from the other. You can also create a new layer by highlighting the layer then type Alt N, then name it whatever you want. Let's say floor, change the color of it. So that's how you create a new layer. Go to your drawing, select the object, click the layer, and put it wherever you want it to be. Let's say I want to put it under wall. As you can see, the object will inherit the property of that layer. There you have the top 5 most important things you need to do to start an AutoCAD drawing. If you like this video or you feel that the other thing should be on top of the other or if you have some further details to add that you think that I missed out, please let me hear in the comments section. Thank you for watching and if you find this video useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and the bell icon to keep you updated on my next uploads. Stay at home and healthy, stay positive, and may the true God Jehovah bless us all.